Assalamu alaikum and hello beautiful people. How are you all? Welcome to my channel. Happy Ramadan to you and your families. It's the 24th day of Ramadan today and I'm making iftar for my family. I have decided to make four dishes today including fruit salad, pudding, fish with rice for the main course and samosas. Currently it's 5 p.m. and we have to break our fast at 6.50 p.m. So I have approximately two hours to prepare my iftar. So I'm gonna start with the dishes that requires to be refrigerated. Let's start by making a fruit salad first. I make it almost every single day in Ramadan. I just use the fruits that are available in my house. Currently, I have six fruits including melon, oranges, chiku, gava, apple, and bananas. Uh, you can use any fruit that you like. It can be strawberries, blueberries, grapes, pineapple, anything. The best thing about making a fruit salad is that your kids, if they are a picky eater like mine and they don't eat certain fruit, they will end up eating it in the salad. It's also known as fruit chaat. I like to season my salad with orange juice or lemon juice. It really depends what you like. Some people like to season it with black pepper. Some like to season it with chaat masala, red chili powder, anything that you personally like. I like my salad to be very basic but my husband and my kids always end up mixing cream in it. This is how they enjoy it. In my family, nobody likes to eat gava with their seeds, so I always remove them. I'm also taking the seeds out of oranges. Um, you can totally leave the seeds in gava if you prefer it that way. It took me about 15 minutes to prepare it and then I refrigerated it. The best thing that I've noticed about Ramadan this year is the weather is really really good. It's not too humid, it's not too hot. I don't feel thirsty throughout the day. Let me know what's the weather in your country, how's your fasting going. I would love to hear your stories. Also, if you like my content, like this video, subscribe to my channel and ring the bell notification icon so you get notified each time I post a video. Okay, so here I'm using just one lemon, approximately like one and a half tablespoons of uh, lemon juice. Do not add too much because then it will be too sour. Uh, orange juice can be added approximately about 4 tablespoons but lemon or lime makes it a bit sour. Okay, so now we are making my most loved dessert. I grew up eating this a lot. This is an instant vanilla pudding. And you won't believe it only requires two ingredients, milk and an instant pudding pack. The pack that I am using comes with a caramel sachet as well. So I will be using it to garnish in the end once my pudding is all set. I am using approximately three cups of milk uh, or you can follow your packet instructions. We don't need to add any sugar because the packet contains it all. Just empty the packet into the milk, mix it, turn on the heat, bring it to a boil and pour it into a bowl and allow it to cool. Once the pudding has been cooled down, refrigerate it and it's best when served cold. Watch my video till the end where I'll show you how to dish the pudding out. Okay, so now time is running out very quickly and we still have to make two big dishes. One is samosas and the other one is fish. Let's make the samosas. I am using ground mutton. 
you can use chicken as well as beef but the cooking timings will vary according to the meat you are using so right now i have only added very very few ingredients including water turmeric and salt uh, also ginger garlic paste bring the meat to a boil and then cover a lid and cook it on the lowest flame for about 30 minutes if you are using mutton for beef the cooking timings will be around 40 minutes and for chicken it can cook in 10 minutes today i've got some fresh spring onions so i'm using it uh, you can also use onions as well um into the samosas um, other vegetables can also be used if you like them but this is how we traditionally make samosas it's been 30 minutes and our meat has been fully cooked i have turned the flame high so to burn the water or basically to dry the meat now once the meat has been dried we have to add the remaining seasoning into the mutton i am adding some red chili powder coriander powder cumin powder and garam masala and your spring onions or onions whatever you are using any vegetables anything that you need to add just add it at this point i usually add coriander and mint leaves as well in my samosas but Today, the time was running really fast and I completely forgot to add it. You can add if you like them. Okay, so this is the part where people mess it up. It's really not that tough. Wrapping up the samosas are, is really easy if you follow the instructions well. I learned this from my grandmother when I was 8 years old and I used to practice it on a piece of paper back then. Uh, the tip number one is to use the less amount of meat. You don't need to overfill it because then your samosas will end up bursting when frying so avoid that i'm using a flour and water paste to stick my samosas you can use egg as well both works fine Uh, let me explain you one by one see it's very simple you just make one fold and then the other here is when you are going to grab it properly so that you don't lose it hold it perfectly and then add your meat turn it around again so that you can handle it really well now your third fold and the fourth fold is going to be the sticking fold sticky fold actually where you're going to be applying your flour and water paste to stick it see how simple it is just few practices and you'll be perfect This amount of ingredients made me 30 samosas. I am freezing 15 for later use and today I'm frying the remaining 15. Let me know people, do you make snacks every day for iftar? In my family, it's not every day. We make it about three to four every three to four days. This year it's been very less actually. I've made approximately about four times Oh, it's very less this time we always end up eating the dinner basically so we are not making too much fried stuff not too much desserts neither too much of the chickpea salad or fruit chart is something that I make every single day 
and dinner. That's it. Okay, so now I'm very quickly, because I'm running out of time, preparing the fish with rice. It's very spicy. The fish ain't spicy, but the rice are actually super spicy. Okay, so I've cut some onions for the rice preps and soaked some potatoes as well. This is basmati rice that I have soaked in. And this is my fish which I'm going to be marinating in water, turmeric and ginger and garlic paste which I forgot to show you. Now I'm pouring oil into a frying pan. I have used approximately the oil that I use for one and a half cup of rice. Meanwhile, in another pot, I am adding some dry garam masala to let it roast. You have to roast it till you actually smell it. Then add your oil, onions and curry leaves. Let them fry till they are nice and golden brown. Now add some ginger garlic paste and potatoes. Let them fry for a couple minutes, then add tomato puree, water, red chili powder and coriander powder. I am using tomato puree, it's fresh homemade, but if you don't have it, you can also use one chopped tomato. On the other hand, I'm frying my fish. This is also one of the most requested dish in my family. I make it twice every month. Now bring it to a boil and cover the lid till your potatoes are tender. It may take about 15 to 20 minutes. Okay, so now here I have fried the fish. Into the remaining water, I am adding 1 teaspoon of red chili powder. I forgot to shoot this part. The water goes into the oil. Be careful, the oil is really hot. So make sure to low down the flame. Now one by one, add your fish into the chili oil and take it out so that it's coated in red chili oil. Now I'm adding this chili oil into the rice pot. Remember I told you to use less amount of oil in the rice pot because we will be using the fish's oil into the rice pot. Now adding some water for the rice to cook in. Bring it to a boil, add your rice, some salt if needed. Now very quickly I'm preparing onion and coriander salad with yogurt. We like to serve it with the rice dishes in our family like fish and rice, biryani, pulao. And I've also started frying the samosas. So the water in our rice pot is almost drying up very quickly. I added green chilies and fishes on the top, cover the lid and only cook it for 5 minutes on a low flame. The dish is ready to be served. Look at these beautiful golden samosas. My mouth is just watering right now and it's approximately 10 minutes I left for iftar. We are on time, alhamdulillah. Pudding is also set and I'm dishing it out 
pouring some caramel sauce on top which came with the packet. Like this video and subscribe to my channel for more amazing content.